Alright, I'm back with the burgers. I got two pounds of hamburger meat. I'm only going to use a pound of it. I got my one red, small red onion chopped up. I'm going to go ahead and throw my hamburger meat in there. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to mix it in the mixer. So, there's that right there. That one's going to stay there. I'm going to throw in the onion. Well, scoot in the onion because I don't want it to go everywhere. I don't want to throw it. <laughs> Over here, out of the way. Um, I'm gonna try this first and see if it was gonna work. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, My guacamole mix. That's what I told you I was going to put in there. I'm just going to add it right in there. Just like this. One pouch for a pound is what I'm guessing. I think that's what you usually do when uh, you're working with taco seasoning. So that's what I'm going for. I don't know if I want to or not, but I might throw an egg in it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess that's it. I'm going to cook it on my uh, cast iron. You guys have seen me use that before. Burner. So hold on, I'll be back after that bur warms up. All right. I'm gonna make some little mini burgers to try to fit on those little buns and rolls that I made. So I need this thing again. I'm gonna get. Ice cream scooper. This. And I'm going to scoop one up like that. And try to round it off. It's like that. I don't know if it <laughs> smells like it's supposed to or not. I don't know why, I just smelled it. Kind of loose. I should have added an egg, I think, for the binder. 
I'm just gonna do like four right now. Let's see how they turn out. I don't know why it's so like juicy. It's like watery almost. Shouldn't be. Should be dry. <laughs> Should have put an egg in it, I think. Or maybe even a little bit of the carb quick to. Mm. And you probably don't usually want to use a wood. board and you probably want to get a plastic one because the wood absorbs the meat juices and things. <clears throat> but I didn't think about it before I grabbed it. So let me take this over here and see how it works. That's a little better. So I'm gonna go kind of slow because I'm um, uploading my other video that I did before this one while I'm taking this video. <laughs> Smoky horseradish and okay. then 
and one. The Deva barbecue sauce. And then one by itself, so I can taste the real flavors. Come back when this stuff's ready. All right, so I got them. Got them off the skillet. Got them on the bread. They fit okay. Like I said, they're crumbly, but they're kind of holding together. Uh, I think I'm gonna use that and use it as a uh, like a meatloaf. Make a meatloaf out of it. Kind of wish I had some cheese, but whatever. All right. Here's the one with the mustard. Give it a shot. See, it's a little burger. It's nice. That's, that's really good. Oh man, yeah. Mm mm mm. Hmm, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these back on because I know I like it. <laughs> Don't squish it too hard. Mm <laughs> mm. Uh -uh. Take a picture from my dad. Send him a picture. Boy, this is good. All right, well, you see what I did. It turned out pretty good, actually. Like though, I said you can put an egg in there for like some binder, maybe a little bit of the carb quick in the hamburger meat because it was kind of loose. Other than that, man, it's good. So I'm. I won't show you how I'm gonna cook the make that into the meatloaf but i'll let you know how it turned out all right ma'am i will see you later dudes